What's up Video Fort Nation, I'm Magic Bard and for today we're going to be going through the Logan Paul glitch effect that he used in the music video The Fall of Jake Paul. But before we get started I want to give a quick shout out to PRV, Anim Frame, and Off Road for leaving us some love on that last tutorial. Guys we really appreciate it, we love putting these out for you guys and love hearing back. But before we get started, if you're new to Video Ford, hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon right next to it so that way you'll be notified whenever we put out a new tutorial every single week. With that being said, let's jump into the tutorial. Alright guys, so you can do this in Premiere Pro, which is what we're going to do right now, but if you want more tools and customization, I would also try out After Effects if you need to do more with the, this effect. So what I'm going to do is take my footage, my clip, which I got from videofort.com where we have a large selection or I think one of the largest selections of aerial footage. So if you ever need aerial shots, definitely check that out. So I have my shot of the San Francisco Bay Bridge. So first things first, I want to go to my effects panel and then type in an effect called paint bucket and just add that onto the clip. Now what you're gonna see is it's gonna fill in the area based off of your fill point, okay? So this is a point which is the center of our frame and when I move this, this is the x-axis, I'm click dragging, you can see that I'm moving the point over where I want to fill. So right now I want to fill the ocean. So what I'm gonna do is drag this x-axis point over into the ocean and now it's filled. And you can kind of guess what I'm gonna do with this, which is basically create a green screen of my footage. So when Logan Paul did this, he, he would kind of create a green screen of the sky, it looked like, and then that's where the glitches would happen. So we're gonna do the ocean. So now go to this red and click on the color and let's turn that to a green. The ugly green screen green. Okay, good. Cool, because there this color does not exist in <laughs> anywhere else. So we're going to use that to key stuff out, right? So I'm going to delete this audio layer because we don't need it. And drag your footage up to the third layer. Okay, okay? we're going to be making three parts to this. So now what we want to do is add another effect called color key. Okay, and this will help key out this green screen. So take your little eyedropper tool, click on the green, and boom, it's gone. So you, you probably can't really tell what's going on because we can't see the bottom layer, which would be right here. So let's add something into this. So I'm gonna go to my project and click on this little new item button and go to, sorry if you guys can't see it, but down here it says bars and tone and we're gonna add one of those, so press OK. And now drag your bars and tones under your clip and delete the tone layer, which is just a loud, boring, or a loud, annoying sound. And now you've got your little bar and tone guy back here. And let's now start to create this glitch. So go back to our effects panel, and we're gonna add a thing called Wave Warp and drag that onto your bars and tone. Change the wave type to um, sawtooth and you can really play around with the wave type and choose whichever one fits your scene. But I'm gonna go with sawtooth because it really creates these jagged edges. And then turn up the height to maybe 200. Okay, that creates a solid edge right there. And then we're going to turn the speed up to maybe 10. And let me just turn the visibility off for our clip just so I can show you guys what's happening here. So we have a um, our bars and tones and it's really kind of moving around um, and that's going to help with our glitch. Another thing we could do is change the direction, okay? And that will really spice some things up and really mess this thing up. Um, Another thing you could do, you know, if I was in After Effects, what I would do is uh, keyframe that direction and then apply a wiggle expression. What I would do is keyframe the direction and drag our playhead to the end and then kind of rotate it. So I'll bring it back to maybe 50. 
Okay, so it's gonna make this turn. Okay, cool, and we're good there. So now we've got our barn tone in the ocean. Now what we also want to do is cover up this side of the ocean as well. So how we do that is by duplicating this paint bucket clip. So right click on it, or paint bucket effect. Right click, copy, okay, and you can close it. And then right click and paste. And just make sure that color key is on the bottom. And then what we're gonna do with the second paint bucket is bring that fill point over to the right. So click and drag it over until it fills the ocean and you can see the point right here. Now we've got our other ocean, or the right side of the ocean filled up. Nice and full, okay? Now let's bring our bars and tones, bring it to the middle layer, and then we're gonna duplicate our San Francisco City Bay Bridge layer by holding down the option key and then click dragging and dragging it down here. Now with your bottom layer we want to turn all the effects off or delete them all so I'll just click and hit the delete key on my keyboard. So now we've got just a plain clip layer, we've got our bars and tone layer and then we've got our keyed out green screen layer on the top. Now there's one more effect we need to add to this which is the um, flickering effect of these bars and tones turning on and off which you see in the Logan Paul music video effect. So let's go over to our effects panel, type in an effect called strobe, drag this strobe light effect onto your bars and tones and let's close that wave warp. And now let's play around with this. So operates on color only. Click on that and we want it to make layer transparent because we don't want to see this white color right here, right? So now it'll strobe on and off the bars and tones effect. So now it's off, right? And then there it is on, okay? And it's strobing on and off. Um, now what you want to do is mess around with these parameters. So strobe duration, uh, half a second is pretty solid. Maybe if you want, I'll put it out 0.1 and try strobe period. Um, if you want a fast strobe, I'd turn it down and it would just pop, 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 pop. Okay. So you can see the pops right there. Turn it up and you know, it'll take 10 seconds for the strobe to pop. So let's go with a 0.25 every fourth of a second. So that should happen four times a second, okay? Around there. And then you could change around with the random strobe probability. Maybe 25%. And um, there you go, guys. Now you've got your strobing on and off effect. Now if the colors are a little too much for you, I would also add a blend mode to this. So go to your uh, motion, let's see, where is our blend mode? Opacity. Okay, open up your opacity, go to blend mode, and then change it to maybe, let's see what overlay looks like. And you could really, you know, play around with whichever blend mode you like the most. Color burn? No. Um, color dodge? Yeah, if you want something brighter. Um, yeah, and really kind of play around with it. And then, guys, that is... I kind of like the color dodge. That is the effect. That's how you create your jagged edges, strobes. And remember, guys, just really play around with what type of wave warp you want. And, um, you know, I would really just look at all the different types of uh, waves you can add to it and then get the special specialized effect that you like. And then you guys are good to go. All right, guys, I hope this last tutorial helped out and this glitch effect comes in handy one day. If it did help out at all, 
please leave us a like and leave us a comment. Let us know if there are any visual effects that you guys would like to learn or movie magic tricks or cool little filmmaking techniques that you need to know more about. We'll try to address those as soon as possible. Remember guys, this is Video Forward, I'm Magic Bard, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.